system analysis. In order to make meaningful computerized economic decisions about war, the primary economic flywheel, it is necessary to assign concrete logistical values to each element of the war structure, personnel and material alike. This process begins with a clear and candid description of the subsystems of such a structure. The draft as military service. Few efforts of human behavior modification are more remarkable or more effective than that of the social military institution known as the draft. A primary purpose of a draft or other such institution is to instill, by intimidation, in the young males of a society the uncritical conviction that the government is omnipotent. He is soon taught that a prayer is slow to reverse what a bullet can do in an instant. Thus a man trained in a religious environment for 18 years of his life can, by this instrument of the government, be broken down, be purged of his fantasies and delusions in a matter of mere months. Once that conviction is instilled, all else becomes easy to instill. Even more interesting is the process by which a young man's parents, who purportedly love him, can be induced to send him off to war to his death. Although the scope of this work will not allow this matter to be explained in full detail, nevertheless, a course overview will be possible and can serve to reveal those factors which must be included in some numerical form in a computer analysis of social and war systems. We begin with a tentative definition of the draft. The draft, selective service, etc., is an institution of compulsory collective sacrifice and slavery devised by the middle-aged and the elderly for the purpose of pressuring the young into doing the public dirty work. It further serves to make the youth as guilty as the elders, thus making criticism of the elders by the youth less likely. Generation Stabilizer it is marketed and sold to the public under the label of patriotic national service. Once a candid economic definition of the draft is achieved, that definition is used to outline the boundaries of a structure called a human value system, which in turn is translated into the terms of game theory. The value of such a slave laborer is given in a table of human values, a table broken down into categories by intellect, experience, post-service, job demand, etc. Some of these categories are ordinary and can be tentatively evaluated in terms of the value of certain jobs for which a known fee exists. Some jobs are harder to value because they are unique to the demands of social subversion. For an extreme example, the value of a mother's instructions to her daughter causing that daughter to put certain behavioral demands upon a future husband. 10 or 15 years hence, Thus, by surprising his resistance to a perversion of a government, 
making it easier for a banking cartel to buy the state of New York in, say, 20 years. Such a problem leans heavily upon the observations and data of wartime espionage and many types of psychological testing. But crude mathematical models, algorithms, etc. can be devised, if not to predict, at least to pro-determine these events with maximum certainty. What does not exist by natural cooperation is thus enhanced by calculated compulsion. Human beings are machines, levers which may be grasped and turned, and there is little real difference between automating a society and automating a shoe factory. These derived values are variable. It is necessary to use a current table of human values for computer analysis. These values are given in true measure rather than U.S. dollars, since the later is unstable, being presently inflated beyond the production of national goods and services, so as to give the economy a false kinetic energy, paper inductance. The silver value is stable. It's being possible to buy the same amount with a gram of silver today as could be bought in 1920. Human value measured in silver units changes slightly due to changes in production technology. Enforcement Factor 1 as in every social system approach, stability is achieved only by understanding and accounting for human nature. Action Reaction Patterns A failure to do so can be, and usually is, disastrous. As in other human social schemes, one form or another of intimidation or incentive is essential to the success of the draft. Physical principles of action and reaction must be applied to both internal and external subsystems. To secure the draft, individual brainwashing programming and both the family unit and the peer groups must be engaged and brought under control. Factor 2 Father The man of the household must be housebroken to ensure that Junior will grow up with the right social training and attitudes. The advertising media, etc., are engaged to see to it that father-to-be is pussy-whipped before or by the time he is married. He is taught that he either conforms to the social notch cut out for him, or his sex life will be hobbled and his tender companionship will be zero. He is made to see that women demand security more than logical, principled, or honorable behavior. By the time his son must go to war, father with jelly for a backbone will slam a gun into Junior's hand before father will risk the censure of his peers or make a hypocrite of himself by crossing the investment he has in his own personal opinion or self-esteem. Junior will go to war, or father will be embarrassed. So Junior will go to war, the true purpose of the war notwithstanding. 
factor three, mother. The female element of human society is ruled by emotion first and logic second. In the battle between logic and imagination, imagination always wins. Fantasy prevails. Material instinct dominates so that the child comes first and the future comes second. A woman with a newborn baby is too starry-eyed to see a wealthy man's cannon fodder or a cheap source of slave labor. A woman must, however, be conditioned to accept the transition to reality when it comes, or sooner. As the transition becomes more difficult to manage, the family unit must be carefully disintegrated and state-controlled public education and state-operated child care centers must become more common and legally enforced so as to begin the detachment of the child from the mother and father at an early age. Inoculation of behavioral drugs can speed the transition for the child mandatory. Caution. A woman's impulse anger can override her fear. An irate woman's power must never be underestimated and her power over a pussy whipped husband must likewise never be underestimated. It's got women the vote in 1920. Factor four, junior. The emotional pressure for self-preservation during time of war and the self-serving attitude of the common herd that have an option to avoid the battlefield if junior can be pressured to go is all the pressure finally necessary to propel Johnny off to war? Their quiet blackmailings of him are the threats. No sacrifice, no friends. No glory, no girlfriends. Factor 5. Sister. And what about Junior's sister? She is given all the good things of life by her father and taught to expect the same from her future husband regardless of the price. Factor 6. Cattle. Those who will not use their brains are no better off than those who have no brains. And so this mindless school of jellyfish, father, mother, son, and daughter become useful beasts of burden or trainers of the same. And so that concludes Top Secret Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars Confidential. All I gotta say is, think about it. Blessings, my brothers and sisters, in the love and the light of our one infinite creator. This is Robert, and it has been my pleasure. Adone Basu Baragas. Peace.